Oh. Got a bit of hair in me mouth. Hello guys, it's me, Murray Mint. Oy, oy. I hope everyone's alright. Um, it's been a while since I've, you know, checked in, told you what's going on, what's about to happen. I'll, I'll tell you a bit about me week. It's been a good week. I need to say a shout out to Big T. Now he pops into the salon but he also pops out, if you know what I mean, in shorts. He's a mighty fine guy. Our Tom is called. So hi Tom, thanks for subscribing. You're a good one. Let's get down to business. I am going away this summer. A lot of you know, or have saw on social media, my social media, that I have been hashtagging find Lisa. A lot of people don't understand what's going on. They're like, what the f is this? Lisa, instead of going around telling everyone, I thought I would do this video to just get it off my chest, you know, connect and maybe reach out to Lisa and, you know, hopefully she will see this. Um, I'm hoping Ellen DeGeneres sees this, so share it. Because we need to find Lisa. Here goes. Sad music. Actually, no, not sad music because it's not a sad story. Okay, just normal music. Right. So, back in the day, um, when I was thinner, younger, um, blonder, me and my friend, I call him Pauline. His real, real name's Glenn. Um, I call him Pauline because um, he had his hair cut like uh, Pauline Quirk once from Birds of a Feather fame. He doesn't actually look like Pauline Quirk, although I do think Pauline Quirk has got a great structure to her face. No, so anyway, me and Pauline, uh, we were away watching um, the Queen, not Elizabeth, Madonna, of course. Um, we were watching the Queen in LA, Los Angeles. So we were there, and it was it was it was in um, 2000, and it might have been 2006. I'm not sure, but I was. It was a bit of a blur. Anyway, this is all relevant to the story about Lisa. So me and Pauline, we, we you know, put on our fake tan ready because we went. We were going to LA to see Madonna. So, the concert was the opening night of the whole tour, of the whole world tour, and me and Pauline were front row, seat one and seat two, in the Forum in Inglewood, which is, I, think, I don't know if it's baseball or ba basketball, some sort of sport, sporting event happens. The LA Forum, it's called, Inglewood. Now, Inglewood is known to be a bit dodge. I think, but that's that's just the gossip on the street. I'm not one to gossip, as everyone knows. Yeah, so we turned up to this gig, um, gig. It sounds like I was like crowd surfing. No, I wasn't. Not at a Madonna concert. If you crowd surf, you literally like look down on as like scum. Me and Pauline rocks up. Pauline's got his fake tan. Right up, black hair, looks like Liza Minnelli. I'll try and put a picture on. I'm channeling NSYNC, Justin Timberlake. Not Justin Timberlake now. No, not that. Like back in the day, Justin. Yes, I was thinner. So we, we um, the concert was good. We were drinking, um, you know, having a few. I think I had to, maybe it's on a hot dog. You know, you've got to really get into the spirit. But we were skinned. We didn't have any money, so we put drink in, like, water bottles, because we're classy. I'm not talking shandy here. I'm talking 
like like burn your throat, meh, like not meths, but like like even stronger than Glens, probably Ben's. I can't believe I'm not Glens. So it was that type of drink, so you can imagine it was like woo. Anyway, we went to the concert and on the way back we started and in fact I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know how this happened, but me and Pauline got back to the hotel and were like, um, holiday, you know, like singing to Madonna, without a backing track, obviously, um, a cappella. And we got talking to this group of people, hashtag Lisa, and we invited them up to the room, no funny business. It was a mixed group, it was a mixed party, um, and it was all Madonna related because they were, um, I'm 98% sure they'd been at the Madonna concert as well. But guys, this is all kind of because like we've been on the bends, so you know, it's a bit. Anyway, sitting on the bed, lo and behold, it's a figure of beauty. It's our Lisa. Now our Lisa, I got talking and you know, you find a connection. We had a bit of a laugh. I got her in a headlock, give her a kiss, you know, the usual. And then, you know, quick as the night began, it was over. Lisa and her friends left. Me and Pauline often talk, well, we'll talk twice, about that, that night and how, you know, it was great and we really connected with Lisa. Um, we're not actually sure she's called Lisa, but that's a... That's different. Oh, the dogs. Do you think she's called Lisa? Oh. So we're partying with Lisa. Um, she left. And, you know, fast forward 15 years and here we are today. The internet is a, is a much bigger platform now. So, you know, I want to know how Lisa is. How is Lisa? Is she alive? Has she got children? Is she dead? You know, there's been a few natural disasters since we last spoke to Lisa. You know, um, anything could have happened. Some key points, some key points that we think are true. One, she's a hairdresser. So we've got that connection already. Two, she's called Lisa. Okay, she might not be called Lisa. We're not too sure, but we're, we're almost sure she's called Lisa. Pauline suffers from ADHD, so he really, you know, has a lot up there, like stores a lot of shit. Um, useless, useful, useless shit. So he's remembered it was Lisa. I have got a picture um, of Lisa. She's got a brown bob. Um, and some ill-fitting clothes, but it was, you know, the early 2000s, so we'll, we'll forgive her. You know, I'm willing to forgive. I'll never forget, but I will forgive. So, what we're trying to do is find Lisa, locate Lisa, have a chat with Lisa, you know, just find out what she's been up to, how she's, be, how she's doing. How many children she's got? Does she still see the children? You know, just your general things that you would ask a long lost relative friend. Friend. E, she was lovely, our Lisa. Absolutely lovely. Our Lisa. So, guys, if you can find it in your heart. To share, subscribe, and like, because in June we're going in search of Lisa. We are going to America. We are going to find her if it's the last thing we do. Lisa. We're coming for you. Ellen, Oprah, Rosie, 
Ricky, Jerry, they're all chat show hosts, obviously. Can you help us? We need your help. I'm sorry if I've, you know, missed any. Oh, Dr. Phil, he's one. We need to find out, Lisa. It's, it's, it's paramount. Just in case you were, you're watching by any chance, Lisa, I'm the person who was trying to recreate the Madonna concert in the gym of the hotel, and I, you know, sped off the treadmill um, and almost done a 360 degree turn um, and broke, nearly broke my back. That's me. That was, does that bring back any memories? You know, with someone all floppy lying at the bottom of the treadmill. That was me. So guys, hashtag find Lisa. We can do it. Don't just stand there. Let's get to it. Let's find Lisa. There's nothing to it. Vogue. Vogue. Like and subscribe. And find our Lisa. Peace.